Hey guys, what's happening, man? Mike Grosser at RockinGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockinGuitarLessons1. That's Godsmack with I Stand Alone. Sounds like Catfield, huh? Anyways, let's jump into this. Drop C is the tuning. Pretty simple riff. When you, when you tune this low, everything sounds like a chainsaw just ripping through the forest, man. So uh, let's do it. Drop C and let's jump into this. Using single notes off the E string and octaves off the A string and the G. Um, let's set up for the octave first, or at least get you in the area that you need to be. First finger 12A, slightly angle that first finger down to mute the D, and then I'm using my pinky on 14G, you could use your third finger if you're more comfortable. I switch between the two. And go three times on the top string, and then hit the A, D, and G. Make sure the D is muted, not it should be. Although we're tuned so low, it's hard to tell the difference, huh? But those octave notes, the fretted ones, will stand out over that. Okay? So, we have... And it's hard to keep your guitar in tune when you're in drop C sometimes. New strings will do that too. Okay, that's the first part. You're gonna pause after the octave, and then hit the octave again, and then the low E. So, and then pause, and then hit the low E again, and then move the octave up a half step to 13A and 15G. Keep in mind to mute the D string. So, and you pause after that, and then you hit it again, the octave. So it's twice there. And then two E's. So. And then two times on that octave again on the 13A, 15G. And that's it, guys. You could down pick all of it. I kind of mix it up a little bit. I'm not going to emphasize a whole lot with this song. How you pick it, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference in this one. But if you want, you could go down, up, down on the... You know what I mean? And you can alternate that do 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 with alternate. Okay, so my name is Mike Gross. I just taught you Godsmack with I Stand Alone. <coughs> Excuse me. Me, 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 me. All right, guys. So anyways, Mike Gross, my website's coming, you guys, July of 2012, rockandguitarlessons.com. I'm not going to explain it all here. Just be checking for it. I know a few of my subscribers, actually quite a few, are like, dude, I'm checking it out. There's nothing here. It just says something cool's coming soon. Because it is. Something cool's coming soon. It's just not quite fully ready. And it's going to be a work in process even once it's up. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, man. Go for it. Plus, once you subscribe, you can make requests of song parts that you've always wanted to know and have them done accurately. Because sure, you can leave this lesson and go find another one. It doesn't mean they're all bad, because they're not. But one thing I'm about is integrity, and I'm keeping these songs true with the actual band and artist, to the point of trying to get them, because you can play an octave, you know, the same thing on different strings. I'm trying to show you exactly, it's like Iron Man from Black Sabbath. I've seen that played tons of ways, Smoke on the Water. Some of them obviously are way wrong, other ones are just sound pretty much the same, but I'm trying to watch how the guitar player is actually playing it and giving it to you that way. And that's what I mean by integrity and really using my ear to take the time to get these for, for you. Now I got the hiccups. Alright, I'm going to go get some water. You guys subscribe, comment, like, and uh, meet me back here. And if you have questions, make sure you let me know too, and I'll clear up any questions you have, guys. All right, let's get your guitar playing to the next level. All right, man, see ya. I meant to do that.